Hi! Welcome back to my channel. In the previous video, I showed you how to create a WhatsApp bot for an OEE monitoring system. But that version was quite limited, it could only respond to a message with a specific machine number and return the current OEE data. It couldn't handle more flexible or varied requests. In this video, I'll show you how to build a smarter WhatsApp bot for the same OEE system. This time, it's powered by AI, so it can understand flexible messages from users. Every user message is processed by the AI, translated into a query to the database, and then the requested information is sent back to the user. This way, users can freely ask for any data they need, in their own words. But before we dive into how it works, don't forget to like this video, and subscribe to this channel, so you won't miss any future updates. Thank you! Here's the overall concept. The user sends a command or a prompt to the WhatsApp bot number to request information related to machine OEE. The message is then received by the WhatsApp bot, I'm using OpenWA for this, and from there, I can capture both the user message and the sender's information. Next, I send the prompt to an AI language model, including the user's message, to understand the user intent behind it. After identifying the user intent and extracting key variables, such as machine number and date, I search for a suitable SQL query based on that intent. To do this, I use an intent mapping table in the database, where each type of intent is linked to a specific query. This allows the system to know exactly which query to run, depending on what the user is asking for. Once the appropriate query is found based on the intent, I then replace the variables in the query, such as the machine number and date, with the actual values provided by the user. After that, the completed query is executed to fetch the OEE data from the database. But instead of simply sending the raw data back, I pass the results to the AI model to generate meaningful insights or additional context based on the data. This helps to ensure that the information is not only accurate, but also easily understood by the user. Finally, the AI-generated response, enriched with valuable insights, is sent back to the user via WhatsApp, offering a more comprehensive and user-friendly overview of the requested data. Here are the major steps to create this system. First, make sure to install OpenWA to set up your WhatsApp bot. You can check out my previous video for a detailed guide on how to do that. Next, for the database, I'm using PostgreSQL, so ensure that you have that set up as well. Of course, you'll also need to install Node-RED, as everything runs through Node-RED to connect the various components. Make sure to install the necessary Node-RED palettes for database connection, which will allow Node-RED to interact with your PostgreSQL database. Additionally, create an account with an LLM AI platform like Grok or any similar platform, so you can send prompts to the AI model and get the results you need. The next step is to prepare your OEE database or any other database that you want to connect and retrieve data from. This OEE table is generated from the OEE monitoring system that I've built. In fact, it's actually a view table that summarizes the OEE information for each machine on a daily basis. This summary view table contains data like OEE, availability, performance, quality, as well as the total output, defects, and other related metrics. The next step is to create an AI prompt template that will be used to extract the user intent from each message sent by the user. Intent refers to the specific goal or type of information the user is asking for, for example, whether they want to check today's OEE, compare machines, or view performance trends. Here's an example of the prompt template I used to get the intent. The AI is instructed to return the result in JSON format, so I can get a structured and predictable output. It's important to test the prompt with different variations of user messages to make sure the AI can handle various ways of asking for the same thing. This helps improve the reliability of the system, especially when users phrase their requests differently but mean the same intent. The next step is to create an intent underscore mapping table in the database. As we test the prompt with different variations of user messages, we store each recognized intent into this intent underscore mapping table. This table contains several columns, including intent, SQL query, required variables, and a description of what the query does. The most critical part of this table is the mapping between the intent and the SQL query, because this is what ensures that the system can respond with the correct data based on what the user is asking for. By organizing intents this way, we can easily expand the system later, just by adding new rows for new intents and their corresponding queries, without having to modify the main logic. 
This also makes the system more maintainable and scalable in the long run. This is the node red flow I've created. It starts with an HTTP and node that receives incoming messages from the WhatsApp bot. The message is then passed into a function node, where I extract both the message content and the sender information. Next, I check whether the incoming message contains more than one word or not. If it contains only a single word, then it's treated as a command to get the real-time OEE information for that machine. In this case, the flow connects to a separate node red flow I've previously built for handling real-time OEE requests. If the message received contains more than one word, it means the user is sending a custom request, so this is handled by a new flow. The flow starts by getting the current date, so the AI will have context about today's date when interpreting the user's message. Next, I send a prompt to the AI to identify the user's intent based on the message. The prompt follows the template I mentioned earlier, where the AI is instructed to extract the intent and return the result in JSON format. This intent will tell us exactly what kind of information the user is asking for, for example, they might want to see OEE for a specific machine on a certain date, or compare multiple machines over the past week. By including clear instructions in the prompt, the AI can also extract any necessary variables like machine number, date, or data type requested, ensuring we can proceed to the next step with all the information we need. The next step is a function node that prepares the data to be sent to the AI API. In this function, I define details such as the AI model to be used, the system role to guide the AI's behavior for more accurate responses, and the temperature setting, which controls how creative or focused the AI's output should be. Once everything is set, the data is sent to the AI using an HTTP request node, which connects directly to the LLM API and waits for a response containing the user intent and any extracted variables. Next, the output from the AI is parsed using a function node to convert it into JSON format. Then, a switch node checks for any error. If an error is found, it means the AI couldn't understand the intent because the user's message is unclear or outside the context of OEE. Next, I check whether the user mentioned a machine number. If it exists, I convert it to uppercase to keep it consistent. Then, I extract the necessary values from the JSON payload, such as the intent, date, start date, and end date. Next, using the PostgreSQL node, I retrieve the query from the intent mapping table based on the detected intent. If the output exists, the flow continues to the next step. If there's no output, it means the intent is not yet registered, so the data cannot be retrieved. After retrieving the query, the next step is to replace the variables in the query, such as the date, start date, end date, or machine number, with the actual data provided by the user. This will generate a query tailored to the user's requested variables. Then, this updated query is sent to the PostgreSQL node to retrieve the corresponding data. Next, using a function node, I will send the prompt to the AI along with the data we retrieved, so the AI can transform it into a more readable and simple format. The AI will also explain the data based on the user's question. This ensures that the user will receive the data in a clearer, more digestible way, with additional insights and context that makes it easier to understand. This is an example. If the user sends just one word, which is the machine number, the system will process and send the real-time OEE information for that machine. This is the system I created previously, where it sends the real-time OEE data for a specific machine. Next, if the user sends a custom message, such as asking for the OEE value of machining 01 today, the system will first identify the intent from the user's message. In the intent mapping table, the corresponding query for the intent will be retrieved. Then, the system will execute that query using the data available in the database to fetch the required information, such as OEE data for machining 01 on the specified date. After retrieving the data, the system will send the result back to the AI model for further processing, where the AI will format and explain the data based on the user's question. Finally, the AI's response will be sent back to the user with the relevant information, such as the OE value for machining 01 today. In the debug node, we can observe the intent generated by the AI based on the user's message, along with the extracted variables such as machine number and date. 
This is useful for monitoring and maintenance. If the system detects an intent that is not yet registered in the intent mapping table, we can easily identify it and add a new intent along with its corresponding SQL query to expand the system's capability. Now let's try the system, and we can compare the result with the values on the OEE dashboard to see if they match. After testing, we can confirm that the results provided by the AI are consistent with the actual data shown on the OEE dashboard. This proves that the system is working correctly and reliably in extracting and interpreting real-time production data based on user queries. In this video, we showcased a complete AI-integrated OEE monitoring system that enables users to communicate using simple and natural language. The system can intelligently recognize user intent, whether the message contains only a machine number or a full custom sentence such as what is the OEE for machining 01 today? Once the intent is identified, the system extracts important variables such as machine number, date, start date, or end date. These are then used to find the right SQL query from the intent mapping table. After replacing the variables into the query, it sends the query to the PostgreSQL database to retrieve the actual data. The system then returns the raw data back to the AI, which reformulates it into a human-readable and easy-to-understand message. This final result is sent to the user, making the data both informative and accessible without the need for technical knowledge. We also demonstrated how the result matches the official OEE dashboard exactly, ensuring the system's reliability and accuracy in a production environment. This AI-based solution significantly improves user experience, speeds up data access, and supports real-time decision-making on the shop floor. It is also designed to be scalable. If a new user query or intent is not yet supported, it can easily be added into the intent mapping table, allowing the system to grow and adapt over time. This brings us one step closer to smarter, more interactive factory systems powered by AI. I hope this video helps and inspires you to develop a smarter and more efficient monitoring system. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss other interesting content. See you in the next video.